Hello and welcome back everybody to Clannot. So, I was already wondering why some sources call this route the Mei route and some call it the Sunohara siblings route. It seems even Clannot itself is not sure. <laughs> I guess the Mei route develops into the Sunohara siblings route. Well, let's jump in. By the way, one thing I wanted to mention. As always by now, I like that you actually give me opposition. I love that uh, th that everyone calls me out now that I'm full, full of shit. <laughs> because I, I don't think I'm wrong, but apparently you do. And let me tell you why I'm right. So, last episode I, didn't, I said I didn't really know if... Uh, what bugs me about what is going on right now? What I really, what I don't like all that much. And I did a bit of thinking, and then I realized the problem I have is, I already mentioned it, but the story has nowhere to go. Now, you might argue, well, you're full of shit, as already mentioned. We have the stalker stuff going on. That is true. And the story itself is actually worth to be told. Not gonna lie, the story itself is worth to be told. But character development wise, we really have nowhere to go anymore. Look at Clannad like this, if we, if we only look at the Sunohara siblings route. We introduce the character Sunohara, he is the friend of Tomoya, he is kind of a goof. Then we get to know he has a sister and we make a plan, we create a plan to fool the sister. Now, Sunohara, being the goof, suddenly gets serious about things he shouldn't be serious about, and you actually see that he is not a reliable person anymore. Or that he no is not a reliable person. The next step is that we learn that he actually once was a reliable person. And now we try bringing him back to being a reliable person. And the blow-off moment was the moment he saw me kissing Tomoya. Now, from here on, there is... I can't imagine what they want to do with char character development-wise. I can't imagine anything. The, the only thing Sunohara can stay now, he can stay stupid. And uh, with stupid I mean, he says, no, I'm not gonna do it, no, I'm all with Sanai's son, etc. We can go on with what we already have. There is nowhere to go from the character development perspective. The story, okay, I have actually nothing against the story trying to get him into the football club again. Or in general, as, as mentioned, I personally would prefer if he did anything else, you know. Something where he has to, uh, where people rely on him, you know. But, uh, as, uh, uh, okay, I said it now th a thousand times, but I say it once again to finish it off. Character development wise, there is not much we can do anymore, in my opinion. Now, as I already said in the comments of last episode, game, feel free to prove me wrong. I have absolutely no problem with being proven wrong. Actually, in many games, I admit that I was wrong about stuff. So, sorry I was interrupted here. What was I saying again? Uh, oh yeah, right. Um, if I'm wrong, and the character development wise, something very interesting will happen. Something that really adds to the character Sunohara Yohei. Then, hey, I'm down with it. And I will admit I'm wrong. I have no problem with admitting I'm wrong. So, uh, feel free to remind me if I forget. But I personally, I don't see what kind of interesting char character trait which Sunohara will show that he didn't have yet or in which direction his character will grow that is not foreseeable by now. So, you know, I guess we shall see. And by the way, today again, I'm super super sorry, but again, today only 30 minutes. I have to get up tomorrow at uh, half past five and it's already close to midnight, so I really have to go to bed. So, <laughs> Without further ado, let's go on. Sunohara. I call out to him to the, the moment I get to school. He's straining himself to act normally. However, no matter what, he won't make eye contact with me. You and me, Chan, haven't met since then, have you? Aren't you worried about her? 
大体さなんで僕がメイのこと気にしないといけないのさサナエさんとのことで忙しいしさ Are you seriously saying that? 本気だよ俺からもっと忙しくなるかな前に言ったよね告白するって4月も終わったし今日こそ決めるつもりだよそうなるとますます時間なくなっちゃうなやべ体が持つかな<笑> you. そういうわけだからさもうメイのことなんかどうでもいいって言うかさ Why? Why are you still trying to act tough? 強がってなんかいません You're not worried? メイがどうなろうと知ったことじゃないね Can you knock this off already? 何起こってるんだよまあいつも僕のことなんか気にしてないだろうしさそんなはだ Driven by my anger, I grab him by the collar My chair falls down and a loud noise resounds in the classroom. What do you think Mei Chan is doing right now? Try grabbing any of the soccer club guys and ask them about what they think of Mei Chan. Maybe then you'll understand just how much she believes in you. I can send spectators are gradually starting to gather as we glare at each other. The classroom, which had been as silent as death up until now, turned hectic in one fell swoop. When the teacher comes up to us to intervene, I let go of his hand. From within the thick crowd of people, I start heading toward the door. The students hurriedly make a path for me. Some class president or another comes in, shouting at me to stop. I ignore her and leave the school. I skip my afternoon classes. Instead, I go to the park where Sunohara and Sanai san had arranged to meet for their previous date. Oh, maybe we will now get the motivation of Sanai san. That would be interesting to know. It's so I can see Sanai san. When I look around, I notice Sanai san sitting on a bench ahead of me. Sanai san, what's with your bread store? Do you never work? <laughs> I call out as I walk toward her. She turns around, giving me a sweet smile. You got a minute? She looks at me slightly apologetically. I hadn't noticed earlier, but Sanai san is surrounded by several elementary students, school students. Obviously, you didn't notice that. It looks like she's telling them something. The boys are all listening to her intently. They all nod in unison to her words. They all reply in a loud shout. And then they all run off, their rucksacks shaking on their back as they give their farewells. Ah, not at all. Who are those kids just now? The one who bullied the girl? No. Are you saying we met somewhere? Oh, I remember that. Huh? Wait, but why were you talking to them? Fair enough. So just now you were. So that's what you were doing. As always, this woman. She makes me admire her, and she amazes me.
skipped. それはいけないことですね。勉強はちゃんとしないと。サナイさん。I talk over her, changing the conversation. There is something important I'd like to, I'd like to talk about. God damn it. I'd like to talk to you about. It's about Sonohara and Meichan. Please listen. Hi. She must have sensed how serious I am about this. She nods, her expression serious. I tell Sanai san everything. About the reason Meichan came to this town. About the state her brother was in when she came here. About the time gap between now and when he was a reliable person. And finally, about what Meichan has been doing recently, along with her wish. I tell her everything, omitting no details. I, I have something I'd like you to ask you, Sanai san. You'll be having a date with Sonohara today, right? Well, should it be that he looks troubled about something during that time? Or seems worried about something? Then please. Try reminding him of Meichan. Because if you don't, then Meichan will. <laughs> what will she? <laughs> yes, so. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's what I said. Sanae san, I see. Just now I finally realized why she's been helping us so much. I think back on the children that all obediently listened to Sanae san earlier. We probably just like them. The day we met, when she saw Sunohara indiscreetly spitting out insults, she must have thought she had ju uh, just, she just had to do something. That must be why she's helping uh, uh, us so much. Really, that is all the explanation we get. Okay, maybe not. Maybe the, maybe we will go into this further in the after story. Actually, that might be possible. But for now, this is kind of dissatisfying. <laughs> Because the, giving children a lecture, elementary school children, and engaging with a person in a relationship, <laughs> even if it's fake, there is a difference in what lengths people go. And even the friendliest person on earth wouldn't, wouldn't do what Sanae san does. Belief in the heart of the cards. Okay. Right now, all I can do is agree. I wonder, is Sunohara really thinking about Mei-chan at all? Will he really turn out to be dependable, like Mei-chan said? There is this feeling I can't get rid of. The sun starts setting as if representative of that. That same day, Mei-chan is standing at the school gates again. When she sees me and we exchange greetings, she gives me a sweet smile. Yeah, you're right. I already knew this, but... She plans on facing the Ksaka Club again. I'd like to help her too. I want to grant Mei-chan's wish. But at the same time, I don't want her to expo I don't want to expose her to those scornful eyes anymore. I don't want her to get hurt anymore. Let's say today ends the same way as yesterday. Or what if they do something even worse to her? Sanae san. If that happens, I I probably won't be able to... Able to do what? To hold back? To not fight the soccer club guys? But you did, did you even talk about that? Huh. Oh well. 
Or maybe trust in Sonohara. Maybe that's what he's talking about. But what does Sonohara have to do with the soccer club being idiots? Okay, I'm confused. The coach looks obviously annoyed upon seeing us. The surrounding club members are still stretching, so practice has probably yet to start. The captain's sarcastic laugh resounds through the clubroom, and suddenly others start laughing as well. お願いに来たんです。練習の邪魔だ。帰れ。邪魔になら of course. A vulgar voice comes out from amidst the club members. What is wrong with the coach? God damn. Like the if if that happened here, <laughs> I swear to god these guys would have a hard time. God damn, what started as almost a whisper soon evolves into a big shouting chorus. Mei-chan's face becomes bright red and she shangs her head in shame. These guys... The sound of a whistle can be heard from the schoolyard. After finishing their light jogging and passing practice, the club members gather in front of the goal and row. When the coach shouts out, the players from form up a line and shoot their balls away. And probably they're not tr uh, trying to even score. Apparently the setup is such that one person acts as a go-between, having each player shoot after doing a 1-2 pass. We lean up against the two sides of the goal, where balls are most likely to miss. Don't worry about that. Didn't I tell you I'd stay with you until the end? This is the extent to which Mei-chan is prepared to go. She'll do whatever it takes. That's the feeling I got from her. We can hear the goalkeeper shouting enthusiastically from the grounds. It seems training is about to start. The soccer members shoot the ball one after another. One member fails to shoot correctly, and the ball soars high over the net. It flies all the way to the fence at the end of the sports ground. Immediately a shout comes our way. You don't have to, I'll go get it. I gently keep Mei-chan, who is about to start running, in check. It's quite a distance to the fence, so when I finally get there, I'm slightly out of breath. I take the ball under my arm and quickly head back. At that moment, with almost calculated timing, another ball is kicked into the air. In a large arc, it goes flying to the opposite side of the field from where I am. If that happens, obviously it would mean Mei-chan would, would have to go fetch it. Are these guys doing this on purpose? Tomoya, have you never seen like a like a drama, like a early evening drama <laughs> of stuff the teens watch these days? Mei-chan frantically runs after it with her small body. When she comes back, she's grasp gasping for breath, her shoulders heaving. She rolls the ball back to them. At almost the exact time, another ball goes flying all the way back to the fence. 
ってこいはい !Hold it, Chan. Rest for a bit. でも。God damn, this must be the first of the first away fence ever. If it's actually that tough to get there and back in that well. Maybe the fence is really, 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 really far away. Probably not, though. I'll go get this one. So you catch your breath and in the meantime... And right as I say that, yet another ball goes off course. In a direction different from the shot before. <sighs> she forces a smile and runs off. I run too, grinding my teeth all the while. She makes the round trip at full speed until she's finally back at the goalpost. Meichan's face had turned pale and her chest heaves violently up and down. Several people fire off their shots after that. Though this time none of the ball fly as far as before. That's good. I'm glad they're giving Meichan at least a bit of a reprieve. However, even this is only temporary. A small shriek. Something whooshes right between the two of us. I can't tell whether the cheering came from the person shooting the ball or the people around him. But could it be he did that on purpose? <laughs> As I say this, whoops, I didn't even read that out. <laughs> but yet another ball goes flying high in the sky. And damn it. I sprint at full speed. I'm uneasy about leaving Meichan alone, so I want to get back as quickly as possible. But the ball flew into a grove of trees, so finding it takes some time. I finally find it and bring it back. Meichan! And when I look back, I find Meichan lying down, holding her stomach. W what's wrong? You got hit? Is that true? Are you sure you didn't get it? Do you think they might have hit you on purpose? Okay. Why are you standing? This is actually... A kind of fair assumption. I know, they probably tried to shoot her on purpose. But if you're standing right next to the goal, it's pretty likely to be hit. Why are they not standing behind the goal? Like every normal person that fetches up balls? At least when we played in school of, of football, we stood behind the goal. And n uh, when somebody was uh, supposed to catch balls or bring balls back or something like that. I mean, you ask to be shot if you stand next to the goal. She goes up to the ball that's slowly rolling over the field. I hurriedly try to following after her. Whoa! A powerful shot comes flying over, as if to cut me off. Just for a moment, I hesitate. During that time, Meicham bends over, trying to pick up the ball. There's a sharp sound. The, the sound of leather on skin. The sh shot hits her right on the thigh. I hurriedly rush up to her as she's crouched down. The ball continues to roll across the ground. She tries to grab it, but she's unsteady on her feet. She staggers twice, three times, until... From running... And a shot on the hip from far away. Okay, maybe it was the shot she got in the stomach. Okay, that would be actually fair. That can take your breath away badly. I think that's a fair assumption. On the other hand, if it was the shot in the stomach, she would have collapsed right away. And not like afterwards, a minute afterwards. I make a grab for her, but I'm too late. Meichan has fallen over, lying right on top of the ball. Then suddenly I can hear laughter coming from the club members. However, Meichan will absolutely not allow herself to cry. Biting her lip, she stands up and throws back the ball. Hi. 
Although she walks unsteadily, she still goes after the ball with the utmost determination. She goes after every ball with everything she has, no matter how far it flies. Even when they shoot a ball at her, and even when it hits her, she gets up every time and continues fetching for them. Why are you going this far? I can't help but think that. How are you able to? Sunohara, look at what your little sister's going through right now. Just where the hell are you? Once it gets deep into the evening, the practice finally comes to an end. Mei-chan was holding her stomach the entire time. Okay, it was the stomach. Okay, I take everything back. Probably I'm full of shit. <laughs> also, I probably don't know how it feels being a little girl. Sometimes I forget, like, I'm a, I'm a two-meter heavy dude. Like, it usually takes a lot for me to actually... And I'm not bragging here. I'm not saying I have any knowledge in uh, anything that, we could, that makes people in pain or that teaches you how to take in pain. I'm just saying, I like... I can take in a ball to the hip or <laughs> Which Mei-chan Mei apparently can't, so, you know, maybe it's just hard for me to imagine what it's being like, what it's like being a little girl, you know. I plan on protecting her as much as I could. Even so, her delicate body must be covered in bruises by now. The captain comes over to us, his cheerfulness a sharp yeah, contrast. He holds up one hand and quickly withdraws back into the club room. For a while, Mei-chan hangs her head, bangs her head, wow, looking discouraged after having her expectations betrayed. That bastard. Despite that, she soon lifts her head. And she promptly goes and grabs the rake. Even though she should already be approaching her physical limits. It's really painful to watch Mei-chan as she remains facing forward until the bitter end. She rakes the field carefully, then finally opens the door to the club room. Only six or seven club members remain, now already changed into their uniforms. で、でも、その話。まあまあ、俺たちが聞いておいてやるからよ。ま、他の奴らがそれで納得するかどうかは知らねえけど。そんな。で、なんだっけ。あ、兄の砂原陽平のことです。部に復帰させてほしいと。思います。ダメなら、ほんの少しだけでもプレイさせてあげてほしいです。そういうお願いです。ああ、そういうことだったな。はい。ダメだわ。え？These guys. It's not like I had no expectations here at all. I mean, look at how hard Mei-chan has been working. Does he really not feel anything at all after seeing her like that? Is he not even making an attempt to emphasize with her? そこをなんとかお願いします。兄にもう一度だけサッカーをやらせてあげてください。嫌だよ。どうしてですか？だって俺あいつ嫌いなんだよな。嫌い？この中で好きなやついるか？いるわけないっすよ。they speak against him unanimously. Unanimously. Kondjo 
サッカーもやめて勉強もできない落ちこぼれそれって負け犬だろお兄ちゃんが負け犬どう考えてもなつうかマジ生きてる意味あんのねえな<笑>なあ妹さんあんなクズのために頑張る意味なんてあんのお兄ちゃんはクズなんかじゃゴミでもいいぜ<笑>そもそもさあん角原さあんたがこんな目に遭ってるって知ってるんだぜうちの部員がさ直接聞かれたらしいんだよ多分どこかからあんたのこと聞いたんだろうな He must have gone and investigated after I told him about m e c h a n In order to find out where m e c h a n was and what she was doing What it was She really wished So now Sonohara knows He knows and despite that he どうだお前の兄貴全然来ねえじゃんそれは見捨てたんだよ俺たちと揉めるのが怖くなって逃げたんだよ救いようがないほどダメなやつだよな今頃うちで震えてんじゃねえのつうか明日から学校来んのかなやめちゃうんじゃねビビって大学か角原らしいなクズにはお似合いだよな<笑> All Meichan can do is lower her eyelids and withstand those words メイちゃんは、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、違う違うお兄ちゃん来るもんメイちゃん絶対来るもんなんだよそれ来ねえもんは来ねえって来るもんお兄ちゃんメイを助けに来てくれるもん絶対に何こいつバカじゃねえの所詮角原の妹ってことだよなもっと叫ばないとお兄ちゃんに聞こえないよ<笑> He grabs her by the arm and shakes her around <笑>痛い<笑>痛いよほらお兄ちゃんって言ってみろよ<笑>オッケー。まあ、わらしゃお兄ちゃんは来てくんないぞ。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。I can't afford to wait any longer. I was past my limit long ago. Yeah, I was actually. I, I, to be honest, I expected to, for Sunwara to show up now. The only reason I've held back is to respect m i c h a n s wishes. And maybe because deep down I believed in that guy too. However, no more. I'm sorry, m e i c h a n Even though I planned on just watching over you until the end, I can't just stand and watch any longer. I'm well outnumbered. The ratio is pretty bad, but I don't think I have much choice. So, Nohara. I finally think back on his face, throwing words of resent resentment at him. However, I quickly shake it off. I make a tight fist. I breathe in deeply, looking straight ahead. Taking a single step forward, and here comes Sunohara. I wind up my arm and. Yeah, of course. Oh, we're already at the 30 minute mark. Oh, well, that is a mean cliffhanger now, is it? <laughs> okay, so, but、uh, honestly, I have to stop here. Uh, Yeah. I don't know. First of all, I want to apologize、um, for blabbering in the、uh, soccer scene when they picked up balls, etc. But in general, this all 
I don't know, did this do anything for you? I think it was kind of overwritten. And I don't know, it also felt like we could see where all this all is going. I don't know. And I don't know, I also don't want to complain. I, I Right now I'm, I'm... There is no fight in me. If you like it, you like it. I didn't like it. It's... I guess that is okay, is it? <laughs> it's just so over the top. So over the top. And every cliche you have ever seen, ever used, it's it's just not my cup of tea. Reminds me, uh, to be honest, this all this whole thing, the last two episodes kind of reminded me on uh, of the cure out. In the sense that uh, it's like a bad teenager drama, you know. That it's not a good thing. But hey, as mentioned, if you like it, feel free to. Right, I, I, I... And feel free to tell me why you liked it and why I'm a douchebag. I'm just kind of sad. This route was so fucking funny. This route was so fucking funny. <sighs> oh well. So, I assume next episode will be the finale of this route. I assume. I'm not sure, but I guess we shall see. But, uh, yeah. I think I've said enough, didn't I? So, thank you everybody for watching. Come back for the next episode and I'll sh see you then. Bye-bye.